catch the tide is coming. And you, you make me sleep. I try and try. It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Hello and welcome to 2K Sports. of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. With Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. And Doris Burks on the sideline as well. It's the NBA's most storied rivalry tonight in Los Angeles. The Lakers face those old familiar foes, the Boston Celtics. And you look at this team, 20 games back from the top spot. We'll see what they've got. And it's the last time we'll see these guys. A two-game season series, and after losing that first one, I'd expect them to play with a little extra added motivation. Greg, going winless against any team is not your desire. I mean, no matter how many or how few times you face them, that's not something you want on your legend. That'll be motivation enough for them today all by itself. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. On the floor for Boston. Thomas is the point with Bradley into his side. Zeller is out there with Johnson, and it's Turner, and it's the threesome. And Isaiah Thomas traded last season from Phoenix over to Boston. Seemed to be a matter of fit and, and not production as to why they moved. About a minute played so far here in the first. Picked by Zeller. Thomas kicks to Brantley. on by Williams. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And Young, here we go. Well, it was the Boston Celtics winning their last game against Golden State. I mean, no stress in that one. A game almost looked like a shoot-around for them. Amazing at how well they shot the basketball. And even more impressive, Greg, considering it was on the road. I mean, it's rare that you see a team get that hot away from home. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. And Bryant kicks to Williams. Rebound by Johnson. For Boston, they've gone 2 of 6 from the field. Here's Thomas. No good with the layup. Boston on D. Kobe, that's good. Excellent work there in transition. Yeah, I think it's always better to go early in transition to attack when it's there because oftentimes you can beat the defense down the floor now here's Johnson a 20-point game for him in the win against Golden State yeah but he was also a force on the defensive side two block shots and also altered a ton of shots and here we go Lakers running again Randall with the bucket and I tell you what anytime you get those easy ones that basket starts to get bigger Thomas passes to Brent. Back to Thomas. Puts it up from 12. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. And we talked about how in the NBA you've got to earn your points the hard way. And that really wasn't the case in that game for them. No, there was no hard way about it. I mean, they got their points easily on dunks and layups against the defense that really didn't offer much of a fight. Here's Thomas after the basket by the Lakers. And Bradley gets it to go. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Thomas against Williams. Thomas goes in, and Hibbert with the block. No doubt he's struggling right now 
from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Los Angeles. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And, and the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. That's losing basketball. Especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That's a nice lead now. And Young gets to Randall. Lakers passing it around. And the lead now. Double digits on that bucket. Randall's got eight points. How about the start that they've gotten off to here? Huge lead, and we're still in the first quarter. And guys, it hasn't just been the scoring. I mean, they're playing tremendous defense, too. And who has been a greater enigma than Roy Hibbert, a guy who can look like an all-star plus one game and undrafted for the next? Yeah, it's pretty amazing the, the kind of swings Roy has had. He's been really good at times. Sometimes he gets in his own way with overthinking things, but... I think he's got everything he needs to be an upper tier center, upper echelon center. Just has lacked consistency in the last year or two. Now here's Thomas. He picked up 33 points in their last one against Golden State. And he also was a table setter in that game, Kevin. Just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. And on the topic of Hibbert, he was an enigma in college, had a very encouraging junior season, looked like a future lottery pick, and, and then that uninspiring senior season, which kind of dropped his draft stock considerably. Bryant and lots of contact there. I see the shot. He'll shoot two. You know, going back to Hibbert, last season was a perfect example of what we're talking about in terms of consistency. One game he puts up 22 and 8, the next game 2 and 1. But you know, every team in the league would like to be in the Roy Hibbert game once the light finally goes on and stays on. Consistency, the challenge for Hibbert. Well, special case, so many records for Kobe, but one he set last season was most misses all time on the floor. He, you know, he passed the great Hondo, John Havlicek, for that title. I'm sure John doesn't mind having him pass him up for that the one. Old Buckeye, you're yeah, right. That's yeah, that's right. Most yeah. misses. But you look at the players on that list, a who's who of NBA stars. Now, here's Thomas. His scoring totals are something to take note of. He's averaging over 19 points a game. There's the lob to the hoop. And Randall throws it down. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. But it has been pretty ugly so far, no doubt about that. And, you know, there's all this talk about Kobe now being the leader of missed shots, having that record. But listen, the guys that are in the top five of that list all Hall of Fame players. So you don't miss a lot of shots unless your team trusts you to take them, and you're pretty good. On defense, the Lakers. It's a 16-point game. Johnson dishes to Thomas to the inside. And Turner with the basket on the assist by Thomas. Turner's got his first bucket of the night. And guys, a final thought on Kobe. I mean, all the players on that list were heavily leaned on for scoring. I take any of the top guys on that list over someone who's afraid to shoot the ball when their number's called. Austin making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. The Lakers have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And, you know, I really think the hard work they've put in in the offseason and so far this year really making a big difference. I mean, they've made a huge improvement in their shooting at the line. Now here's Turner looking at his numbers. He averages a bit over nine points a game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Nick Young. That is his first foul of the game. against Thomas. Bradley, no one around him. That one falls, coming off of Thomas's feet. Thomas got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And a brief check of the stats for Williams. 
Some good contributions, really, since the All-Star break. Second and three-point field goal percentage, and he's in the top ten in field goal percentage. Really able to power his way to the bucket and finish through contact. And back to your point, I mean, a lot of his effectiveness has to do with mental toughness. It's just hard to force him out of his comfort zone. And the Lakers making a change here. Russell's checked in. Johnson draws the double, and it's going to be a three-second call. And let's see which big men have had the softest touch lately with this look at the leading field goal percentages among centers and power forwards in the last 10 games. Well, you take a look at Bass leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, Roy Hibbert, also someone that shoots at such a high percentage, top five in the league. And it's one thing to be able to create high-quality shots for yourself, but you still have to finish. And, and there's no doubt all those guys can do both. Yes, sir. I mean, these guys make the most of every one of their easy opportunities. Missing layups is simply not part of their routine. Here's Thomas following the score by Lou Williams. Five to shoot. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Trills it from outside. Turner's got five points so far. Lakers leading by 13. Russell kicks to Williams. Lakers working the ball around now. Young passes to Russell. Here's Randall. Johnson with the block. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And the Lakers with some changes. Brandon Basses checked in for Randall. Allen comes in for Young. And it's Clarkson in for Lou Williams. And then for Boston. Lee's checked in for Johnson. Jake Browder comes in for Turner. And Smart subbed in for Bradley. Celtics trail by 13. Outside Thomas. A 15-footer. And it comes off the front of the rim. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. It's out of bounds. They are saying it was last touch by Lee. And you know what? Just a little too much heat on that pass for him to come up with the steal. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that was going to be a tough catch for either one of them. Here's Russell. And despite that miss, a strong start for them offensively. Yeah, they're scoring with confidence, Greg, making them count in the early going here. Thomas gets a wide-open look. Again, Thomas missing. And boy, has he been struggling big time here in the quarter. Yeah, he's played tight. I mean, you can see it. No flow at all to his game right now. Now, here's Thomas after D'Angelo Russell's miss. Thomas goes in. No good. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Ray Allen is on the way. He's guarded by Thomas. Allen, that's good. Such a hype mismatch out on the perimeter, and they give up the triple. Celtics trail by 16. Let's send it out to DB who caught up with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris? They'll be up against one of the true giants of the league in Roy Hibbert. And he talked about how impressed he is with Hibbert's dedication to improving his game, saying he's gotten better year after year. And now is one of the guys you have to account for, really, at both ends of the floor. Defensively, you've got to get low and try to run him out of the paint. And then on offense, we'll probably look to put him in pick and rolls to test his mobility. Seems like a smart strategy, guys. We'll see how they do. Thank you, Doris. Blacks checked in for Roy Hibbert. Fires from 14. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Allen's got five. They've worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening quarter. And if they match that effort at the defensive end, watch out. Olenek, that's in there. Thomas with the assist. Thomas got his fifth assist in this one. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. Okay, and watch, Clark, how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Now, here's Thomas. Looking to get back on track here. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Lakers leading by 18. Ball going up court. Bass can't get it to go. So far on the glass, it hasn't even been close. 
Yeah, they're taking it to him. It, it feels like they've got every loose ball. Thomas kicks to Olenek. Nails the 16-footer. Olenek's got his second basket of the night. Yes, sir. Yeah, just a smart shot, taking advantage of the mismatch. Well, with a stroke like that and the height advantage as well, the mid-range J is almost a gimme. And there are more points tacked on here to the early lead. And it's a nice lead as well. I mean, it's no mystery how they've done it. They're attacking the basket. Here's Thomas. Ray Allen picking up that last basket. And it's the Lakers on the break. Black, no good. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break. And he blows it. Yeah, at this level, you got to make that shot. about David Lee is a proven scoring rebounder Clark Health though has been a concern it has been very durable early in his career Kevin but of late we've seen hamstring issues back issues and torn hip flexors and that's taken a toll on him for sure looking at who's out there now for the Lakers Julius Randle comes in for Brandon Bass it's Thompson in for Russell they get it again Olenek excellent D there from Allen Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. And, guys, for David Lee, when healthy, he can absolutely fill it up. I mean, he's a terrific offensive player, can score over both shoulders, a really solid passer, and, of course, a volume rebound. And here's Randall, 15 points in the game. From 11 feet away, no luck. Smart kicks to Thomas. And two free throws coming up as he misses that shot. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact there. Hey, Allen picks one up. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. He hits the second from the line. Lakers leading by 17. Marks and dishes to Allen. He hits Black, top of the key. Thompson right side. Passes it to Randall. Off target at the rim. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Celtics head coach Brad Stevens lured away from a very successful tenure with the Butler. The only hard part of that decision is leaving a place that you really loved for 13 years. I couldn't have left. I wonder if coach Brad Stevens feels like he's recruiting another college class with all those draft picks bucked in his stockpile. Well, I don't know how he would address that question, but I do know he's feeling real good about his decision. I mean, taking the Celtics to the playoffs in just his second season. I mean, I think he's one of the bright coaching stars in the NBA today. It was the NBA's gain and college basketball's loss when he moved on to the Celtics. Well said. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in score for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And, guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. A, a lot of tough D being played by them so far. It's been the difference maker. Greg, no uncontested shots for the most part. That's why they've had success. Williams is out there with Thompson. And it's Young. Then it's Randy. And it's Sakri. And it's the center filling out the middle. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid. But you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Get back, get back. Here's Bradley. Buries it from three-point range. Bradley's got 11 points. Los Angeles leading by 14. Thompson passes to Randall. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. 17 points for Julius Randall. 
and defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. They're very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Turner against Young. And Turner kicks to Yarebko. Back to Turner. Just five on the clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Yarebko can't get it to go. Lakers have gone a nice three of three to start the second. Here's Young. Thompson dishes to Randall. Zeller grabs the board. And as far as jump shots go, that's what you have to continue to try and get. I don't know how that one stayed out. And he's able to get it back. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. The pass to Young. Here's Sacre. Off to a good... start as he hits his first shot attempt. Herb is just there. He played the role of the maestro on that one. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randle's career started. I was there that night, first game of the season, seventh pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game, broke his right leg, 14 minutes in, and the guy that comforted him the most, I recall very vividly, Kobe Bryant yeah. stayed with him the entire time when he was really in shock on the floor. Yeah, he was, and unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in, in the summer league, and the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. Here's Russell, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Russell's got his first two points. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assists. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot. And then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Here's Bass. The rebound by the Celtics. Their last encounter was in Boston. And that was one of the few times that, that you'll see a team just lack fight defensively in losing that game. Yeah, and I know their fans may not want to hear it, but the reality and the truth is get back, get back. the defensive end of the floor was not what it needed to be in terms of effort. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. And Evan Turner is one of those guys, he just gives you a little bit of everything. I mean, he can play multiple positions, handles the ball, he can pass it, shoot it. Kind of a Swiss Army jackknife who, who uses multiple tools to his advantage. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Roy Hibbert's checked in for Robert Sacre. That's Bryant in for Lou Williams. Kobe against Bradley. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Well, Greg, for Evan Turner, the one area where he can still develop in a big way is with the jump shot. Clark, 28% from three last season. And it really is not going to make it. Yeah, that's been the one stain on his game, the lack of that deep shooting ability. But everything else he can do. He can handle, he passes, he rebounds. But he, to be an elite player, he's got to be able to knock down that three ball better. There's a screen. Fires the three. But they recover it. Pass to Smart. Dishes to Zeller. On the wing, Turner. Shoots the three. And he gets the bucket. Turner's got 11. He might not have the long range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. And it's Bryant in the corner. Pass, passes to Bryant. Young for three, and it's Bradley with the rebound. Celtics trail by 15. Shoots from 14. The shot by Turner, no good. And 
Good defense there uh, to play up and get a hand in the face. Well, he's got a tough mindset. He's confident as a defender. And when you combine those two things, it makes it real hard to score on him. Smart kicks to Zeller. Here's Johnson. And it goes as the official calls the foul. So count it. We'll shoot one more at the free throw line. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. Brown is checked in for Los Angeles. And a change for the Celtics. Lee's checked in. For Los Angeles, they have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And Brown drops the goal. Celtics trail by 17. Smart kicks to Lee. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Lee's got his first basket of the night. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Kobe dishes to Russell. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Let's take a look here at some numbers for Bass. Since the break, he's been simply stellar. He's averaging 14 points a game, six rebounds, and two assists. And every team needs a good backup big to spell the starters, and, and that's what he brings to the table. Well, he realizes his role. I mean, rebounding, setting screens, protecting the rim. Anything else is a bonus. Jake Crowder's checked in for the Celtics. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws and 100% free throwing for the quarter. That's superb. From 20 feet out, and Bryant the bucket on the assist from Roy Hibbert. 14 points for Kobe Bryant. Kobe getting it done. Just a gorgeous shot that time. Turner passes to Johnson. He dishes it to Bradley. Johnson the screen. Bradley drives in. Up off the screen. Johnson. And Johnson lays it in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five. The baskets have been exactly of that variety. Here's Bradley. It's rebounded by Bass. Bass has got three rebounds so far in the game. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shoots from 12. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Pass has got his first basket. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. We've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. Randall's checked in for the Lakers. Kelly Olenek's checked in for the Celtics. Thomas comes in for Turner. Thomas kicks to Crowder. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Here's Randall. And another basket for the Lakers. Bradley with the ball. 16 points for him. There's a good screen. Inside, Lee loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Lee's got four points this quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working. Oh! oh. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. And that replay sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. Out to the wing. Here's Crowder. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Brown, good. 
and really he's just done a great job of finding the open man every trip down. Boy, it sure has seemed as though he's done it every time. It's been an awesome display of passing for him today. Feeds to Bradley. Out to the right wing. Thomas against Russell. Shot clock at six. And Thomas, here we go. And it's sent back by Russell. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. It's stolen by Bryant. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist from Randall. Brown's got six here in this quarter. I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen throughout. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into quick points. And that can continue. I mean, if they hope to get back in this game, I mean, it's really deflating from a morale standpoint. They need stops and points, not turnovers. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And now let's find out which teams have excelled from the free throw line in the season's second half. The Lakers, number one. They are really dialed in at the line, especially since the break. I mean, really shooting an impressive percentage from the line. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Tarek Black, he's checked in for Randall. Hollis Thompson comes in for Bryant. Ray Allen is checked in for Brown. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Russell. Yurebko's checked in for the Celtics. Lee, that's good. Lee's got eight points. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's ten points in a row in the paint. If you can't stop it, here it comes. Right at you. Celtics trail by 19. Down low and stolen by Hibbert. Fast break. The Lakers. Here's Thompson. Here's Black. And he banks in the layup. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Thomas. And it's Roy Hibbert with the rebound. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yes. Rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. And guys, looking at Roy Hibbert, just a mountain of a man listed these days at about 7'2", 290 pounds, with a wingspan of a, of a pterodactyl. I mean, a true game changer inside when he's motivated and on his game. And the Lakers making a change here. Sacre is checked in. Well, talking about Roy Hibbert, he doesn't just have size. He has a strong lower body, too. Very hard. And you know this, Sparky. He worked for the organization. You saw it firsthand. Very hard to back that guy down in the post. Yeah, and for years, he's worked on ways to complement that size with improved training and footwork, even indulging in MMA one offseason. Tell you what, he'd be one scary super heavyweight if he went the full distance in MMA. Agreed. Shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Pushing it up. Here's Clarkson. Hammers it home to polish off the break. And that's how you take the steal and turn it into a transition opportunity. I think that's the perfect time to do it, Greg. I mean, those few seconds after the turnover, strike right away because the defense has no chance to get organized. Now here's Thomas. He's covered by Clarkson. Screen by Lee. Thomas dishes to Lee. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Just tentative in the paint. Lacking a little bit of confidence. Allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Allen, that's good. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Screen by Lee. Thomas goes in. Will it go? Rebound the Lakers. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. And as they continue to just dominate this game, you have to wonder how much can they win by. Well, it's on the verge of getting out of hand, Greg. You can feel it. You can see it. 
in part because the defense has been about as good as the offense, and both have been really good. A dominating first half of basketball, who so far hasn't been close. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what an amazing performance the hometown fans are witnessing here tonight. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, it's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. And let's go to Kenny. What would you think of their first half? That was the half of the super sub for them. A lot of offense coming off the bench, and that's such a luxury to have that kind of firepower available. There were times when the pace picked up when the second unit came into the game. And that's the best part, having a bunch of guys who's ready at the drop. And time now to send you back down to the floor. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. We're seeing a tremendous game from Julius Randle. Yeah, you just love it when the decision-making is as good as it was there in that first half. Didn't force anything. Guys, I think here in the second half, though, they may want him to be a little more assertive. Start hunting more for his shot, even the tough ones. On the floor for Boston. Bradley and Turner filling out the perimeter. Amir Johnson is out there with Tyler Zeller, and it's Thomas in at the point. And Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Thomas with the ball, picked up by Thompson. And the call will go against Hollis Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. So it's the Celtics now. Sent away. Randall kicks to Clarkson. The feed to Thompson. Pass to Clarkson. Here's Randall, and he uses the glass on the lane. Randall's got it going here in the start of the second half. The first points in the third quarter for the Lakers. Austin's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on three. Turner kicks to Johnson. Now, here's Clarkson to the middle. Here's Randall. It's deflected. There's the dish to Bradley. No good. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Puts it up from 17. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got 27. Well, well, he knew how many inches he had over the guy. I mean, let's face it, good decision to just rise up and take the jump shot. Thomas up top. He's covered by Clarkson. That is good. And that's now six points for Isaiah Thomas. Wow, you don't see him make plays like that very often. That's a nice move there for the basket. Randall with the bucket. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips down the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. They're running ahead. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Randall's got eight points here in this quarter. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. And he gets it to go. And that's now six points for Johnson. The Lakers have gotten four of their first five second-hand shots to fall. 80% since the break. Clarkson passes to Randall. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Thomas. Here's Randall, and again, it's the Lakers. And it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. The Celtics have gone two of four here to start the second half. Thomas kicks to Johnson. Zeller, a screen on Randall. Good chance here for Turner. A rebound by the Lakers. Randall's got five rebounds tonight. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded by Thomas. Randall with the bucket. And, and they're not taking their foot off the pedal. They just keep adding to their lead. Well, it's never a good idea to back off and ease up. And it doesn't look like that thought's even crossed their mind. I love it. And Turner kicks to Thomas. Tries from 16. 
just five to shoot. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Here's where Boston sits right now, Kevin, in the current league ranking. Ninth in opponent field goal percentage. Twelfth in fast break point. And they're in the top half of the league in free throw shooting as well. Pretty good, but they could certainly stand some improvement there. And you mentioned their opponent's field goal percentage ranking. They do a really good job of closing down the paint, forcing teams to beat them from outside. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. All right, here's a look at stats for Thomas. He's been more than solid over the last month, putting up about 18 points per, seven assists, and three rebounds. So much of what this team does revolves around his offense. Well, his mindset allows him to stack those points up. He wants to carry the load, and clearly he does. Smart, wide open, he fires. Boston again missing. Here's the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Kobe dishes to Randall, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Randall's got 39. You know, usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks. But that's not the case here. Well, it's about rhythm, and they put this run together on the strength of their mid-range jump shot. They might as well be layups with the way they're shooting. It's stolen by Johnson. Kicks it to Zellis. Soft touch on the glass. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate. You throw it to where he needs to be. Side Williams, young pass to Randall. Again, Los Angeles. These guys putting on a clinic out there. Everything is sound and sharp and crisp. He's really the centerpiece of their offense. Williams against Thomas. Let's a floater go. Good D by Williams. It, it looked like Nick Young had finally put it all together. I mean, he had a huge campaign two years ago, signs a new four-year deal. Then last year, disaster strikes. I mean, he provided very little to the team outside of shooting the basketball. And even with that, he dropped to a career worst, 37% from the field. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. Connects, the jumper drops. Thomas got eight points. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin. Everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. And, guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react, and that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. He feeds it to Turner. Goes back up. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Well, they forced a decent number of turnovers in this one, fellas, and they've turned most of those turnovers into points. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. Brandon Bass is checked in for Los Angeles. Russell comes in for Kobe. Austin also with the sub. Crowder, he's checked in for Turner. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. And that's 10 of their last 12 points that have come off assists. The break in back to Young. It's tough to completely judge him on last year's numbers because he was fighting through knee injuries, ankle injuries, all kinds of things. Clark, they only played 42 games. Yeah, but when he's right, he can light it up. I mean, he's a go-to scorer, but he just never got right last season. And that's sort of been the story here today, hasn't it? The Celtics have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Johnson the screen. Thomas kicks to Smart. Misses off the left iron. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And, Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Thomas up top. Nice D from Williams. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that was short stroke. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Boston's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And the shot's good from Crowder. Crowder's got six. Assisted. Isaiah Thomas. 
this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Boston shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Now here's Smart. He's guarded by Russell. Now Smart. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Williams kicks to Russell. And he gets it to go. Ten points for him. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. Johnson the screen. And here's Thomas. Ten points for him. Six on the shot clock. And there's the call on Lewis Williams. That is his first foul of the game. Los Angeles making a switch here. Wax checked in. The Celtics also changing it up. Kelly Olenek checked in for Zell. Lee comes in for Johnson. And Yurepko is subbed in for Thomas. That's good. And that's 10 points for David Lee. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. And Young kicks to Bass. And again, it's the Lakers. That one was solid. percentages between these two teams here in the second half and Greg that difference has come about because we've got one team moving crisply getting good shots and the other is just kind of stagnant to the paint and Lee pulls it down Lee's got three rebounds now in this one and the Celtics shooting 47 percent since getting things started in the third quarter you're smart that short off the rim and this is why you need good defenders on the interior to contest shots. Yeah, Greg, making every shot a hard one, even the shots in close. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. He kicks to Yurepko. Passes to Olenek. Nice ball movement by Boston. Three-pointer. That's good. Oh, Linux got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, and when you've got a big man who can shoot from distance like that, what a huge advantage. Russell kicks to Bass. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. And here's Smart. The pass to Lee. They get a hand on it. He lobs it up. Black dishes to Bass. Young left side. And another basket for the Lakers. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. Well, when you knock down jumpers like that, it opens everything else up as well. Mirepko kicks to Lee. A good screen. It's deflected. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Bass. Bass has got three assists tonight. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. You're smart. And, and really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Yeah, but in this case, I think he got it right. I mean, the defender was still moving there and never really had good legal guarding positions. He wasn't set. First free throw is good. Marcus Smart was drafted to the Celtics as their future point guard. He came in with a lot of work to do and a skill set that people really liked. But his first season, Clark, was a roller coaster. Yeah, it really was. He was an off-guard in high school and in his first year of college as well. Really only played full-time at the point the year before he was drafted. Boston's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. There's the screen from outside the arc. The Lakers with the rebound. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. The drive by Allen. Pass to Black. It's off his foot. And the refs whistling a kickball. Kickball.
seconds left to play in the third. Russell dishes it to Clarkson. From 12 feet out, that one goes. Go. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Kicks it out to Bradley. Boston, no good that time either. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me a bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, at least as I look at it. Randall with the bucket. He really made that mismatch pay off. A defender giving up that much size isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the basket. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The Celtics shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. So we got Robert Sacre. Thompson is out there with Brown. Then there's Allen. And it's Black in at the four spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Charity stripe shot. Can't get it to go. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Over to the left wing. Rebound the Lakers. Draws body contact, looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second free throw. Here's Rozier. Pass to Hunter. Here's Jones with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. He got a little fancy with the fadeaway on that one. And so it's the Lakers with it. On the wing, Thompson. From deep. Good! And that tells you a lot about why the score is where it is. Lazy defense. Passes it to Hunter. He dishes it to Olenek. Sacre with the block. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Julius Randle's checked in for Tariq Black. Julius Randle. Shot from the inbound. That's good. 11 points for Kelly Olynyk. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And Thompson kicks to Randall. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists now tonight. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Here's Rozier. He's covered by Brown. Here's Jarebko. The rebound by Sacre. The mechanics totally out of whack right now. He's lost his feel for the shot. Yeah, he really has. I mean, just totally out of sync. You can just see it in the numbers. Nothing going down for him right now. And, and such a steady hand. I mean, he's one of those guys that's really allowed them to take the lead. Well, he's just so reliable and dependable and consistent, especially here today. I mean, his shooting percentage is off the charts. Los Angeles has gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Puts up the baby hook. Allen. Rebound, Boston. Yurebko's got his third rebound tonight. And the pass to Hunter. Great pass to set up the lay-in. It doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that. It's, uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. Please check in for Kelly Olenek. Oh, 
That free throw good from Randall. Celtics have gone four of eight in the... Fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Rozier, the pass to Hunter. Here's Rozier. Shot clock at five. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Thompson's got three rebounds now in this one. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. The turnover difference hasn't been in their favor, but you know what? It hasn't really slowed them down too much. I like the fact they're staying aggressive here. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Brandon Bass is checked in for Randall. Markson comes in for Ray Allen. Bryant is checked in for Thompson. And Lewis Williams subbed in for Brown. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Sacre dishes to Bryant. Took him no time at all on that one. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. His shooting has been off the charts. The Celtics have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Hunter, the pass to Jones. Feeds it to Yurepko. The dish now to Lee. Screen by Jones. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting an unbelievable 70%. You won't see a performance like this too often. Here's Bass. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws with a contact right there. And you know, for Brandon Bass, such a big asset to Boston last year, and they're pushed to make the playoffs, especially after the Celtics have traded away from several key veterans. His toughness, his strong mid-range game, that all helped. And going back to Brandon Bass, he was Boston's only enforcer down low. One Sullinger went out with the broken foot. At that point, Greg, no one thought the Celtics would make the playoffs, but Bass helped push them in. In last season, one of the most meaningful in Bass's career in terms of his contributions, really counting toward the bottom line. A lifetime role player, the outcomes of many games last year were swayed by how well he performed. Here's Rozier. He's guarded by Williams. Here's the teardrop. And it's Rozier missing. And, and fancy finishes like that look great, but man, it's embarrassing when you blow him. Second shot opportunity. The shot will not go. And it's Boston the other way. The feed now to Jones. Kobe comes with the double team. Here's Lee. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, and he made it a very tough shot. And you can see the difference with their ability to win with their speed, guys. Boy, I love the pace and flow that their open court offense has been played with. I mean, it's been humming quietly, but very efficient. And the basket by Rogier. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. The Lakers have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Been some solid looks for them. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And the Lakers have possession. Williams for three. And the rebound goes to David Lee. Lee's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Rozier, defended by Bryant, and Jordan Clarkson is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him.
Here's the triple. And good on the basket. Book it. Hunter's got seven now in this quarter. Los Angeles has gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Sacre kicks to Williams, and the shot is good. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Hunter, the pass to Lee. 13 feet away. Bryant with the rebound. Lakers have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. That's good. And 12 points for Williams. Really just a tremendous day for him. And if you remember, he was just as good in their last game. Rozier, the pass to Lee. Shot is off. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Outside Bryant. Kicks to Sacre. Lakers working the ball around now. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist for Williams. 19 points for Kobe Bryant. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. Here's Hunter. He's guarded by Williams. Four on the clock to halt the run. And he overshot that one, missing. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. And again, it's the Lakers. Kobe with the brilliant assist that time. Boston shooting at 42% in this final quarter on the wing, Jones. to Hunter. Let's the free fly. A rebound by the Lakers. sacre has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Clarkson. Good. And the nice assist for Williams. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. No hesitation at all in transition, and they have a huge margin in that department. Fast breaks yield easy buckets, guys. They've made the most of their chances in that regard. The defense not able to get set. Get a running start to the rim. You should get a good number of scoring chances that way. Outside, Jones. Rebound collected by Clarkson. Clarkson's got six rebounds here tonight. Shots good. Oh, and that's now 21 points for Kobe Bryant. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. And, you know, you can feel the desperation right now. They're starting to lose their composure offensively. Yeah, it's palpable, Greg. I mean, clearly you can see the frustration. And it's understandable. I mean, right now they're on the wrong side of a big run. Rozier, the pass to Yurepko. Jones dishes the lead. Pass to Rozier. Shot to end this cold run. The Lakers with the rebound. A bit of pride at stake. Trying to get that last three ball back, but couldn't get it to fall. The kick out to Bryant. He feeds it to Clarkson. The rebound. By Lee. Lee's got his fifth rebound in this one. Hunter, the pass to Jones. It's stolen by Bass. Here's Clarkson. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Bryant's got his seventh assist in the game. There's been a change in his game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. On the wing, Jones. Defended by Bryant. Boston again missing. Los Angeles has gone three or four from downtown here in the fourth. Dishes it to Williams. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. Austin's getting some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Pass to Hunter. They set the pick. Here's Rozier. Kept alive. Yarebko. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time.
Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Lakers. Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, Clark, this is kind of punishment. Too. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And when you look at the season for these guys, they have amassed a lot of wins, 57, and adding in tonight, it'll make it 58. And that'll finish the season series between these two. It's clear who had the better game plan and better execution. And that's why they'll be finishing up the year 2-0 against the Celtics. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Randall. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Look at look at the big fella working on that possession. He knows how to fend guys off and get those rebounds. Pass is shot good. And, and just a terrific job of taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Greg, those fans had a hand in the win. I mean, they gave this team a big lift throughout the game. I thought there was great energy in the building. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Clarkson. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now, thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just say keep on letting it fly. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and Clark the other just searching for answers that they could never find. Well, I think these fans, too, Kevin, gave their team a tremendous lift. I mean, they never gave up on it. From the opening tip until the end of the game, they were in it. And that certainly helped this crew get to the W. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And we send you now over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player, Julius Randle. It was nothing short of a professional offensive clinic he put on today. He hit shots from every place he took them, and he took a lot of them to score more than 50 points. He flat out dominated. I mean, you see the kind of plays he was making all over the court. This is a game, no matter who they put on him, he wasn't going to be denied. His offensive power was in full effect. His accuracy from the field was pretty eye-catching. I mean, if he was shooting the ball, it was going in. You rarely see a performance like this with this crazy high shooting percentage. Wow. And that wraps things up, folks. Thanks for joining us. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the rest of the 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. Good night, everybody.